Well, how y'all are this afternoon? This is your buddy George Jones over here at the Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on. Hey, I got this brand damn new gun. Uh, so we're going to explore the brand new gun. This is a single shot 12 gauge shotgun, which is marketed by Midland. It says on here, Gibbs Rifle, uh, Wartonburg, West Virginia, Midland backpack. And it is a, a uh, 12 gauge, three inch chamber. And as to where it was actually manufactured, I haven't been able to find that on the gun. Um, I'm pretty sure it's manufactured in Turkey because it's got the oh, current appearance of being very similar to a Hatfield. Um, it has a cross bolt safety behind the trigger guard and it has the trigger um, action release up here and it folds almost all the way around. It comes with Uncle Mike sling swivels installed on it. It comes with a fairly nice uh, medium soft recoil pad, a cheek piece on the stock, which doesn't do me any good being, wait a minute, it's, the cheek piece is elevated on both sides of the stock, which may do me some good. Uh, it also has spacers, which allows you to take the spacers out of it and make a full-on youth model shotgun out of it or adjust the pull for an adult. It has a elevated or pedestal type bead on the muzzle and it has changeable chokes. And I didn't check and see what choke is actually in this gun. If I can get it apart right quick, we'll look at it. And the choke tube is threaded all the way the length of the choke tube. The choke tube is marked three stars and it is marked Midland Modified, M-O-D Modified, and it's threaded up at the muzzle as opposed to back down the back of the uh, bottom of the of the choke sleeve, choke tube, choke gizmo, Get that guy in there. And get my, give me a dime. You got one? No change. You're about as useful as as empty cash register. This looks like I'm here. Wait a minute! I think I got one. No, no, I ain't gonna use, use a, that. Don't use a don't use a harder metal on something than you want to. Uh, and my universal choke tube wrench, a dime. And tighten that guy up. There we go. So, let's go, we're going to give her a try. So I've got a silhouette target up down here at 15 yards with a target dot on it. And then I've got another target which will simulate the uh, shooting of a game animal at, uh, oh, about 20 yards. And I'm going to try it out on both of them and see how it works if I had some shells. Go to the truck and see if you can find that box of shells laying in the back seat. Just reach in the window, please. And thank you. Other side will probably do better. There's a box of shells from the old Salvisa estate. Remember when we went up there and bought all that stuff? Oh, yeah. Jeez. Me and Ed went up to Salvisa on the northern end of the county and and bought out most of an estate a few years ago, and uh, this is, these were these ain't reloads. These are brand new double A's. It's just they're about 25 years old. Seven and a half double A trap load. We'll see how it shoots. Do 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 do. Break down. It doesn't have an ejector, but it does have a lifter, and it has a faller outer. All right, get our gun off safe, deep. <laughs> this might kick. We're going to give it a try here, but this might kick. It's got a good recoil pad on it. We'll see. Bead that thing up just right and see how it goes. 
Hmm. All right. That worked out. Lifter lifted her nice. Didn't kick too awful bad. Let's get us another one in there and try the game animal mock-up and see how many pellets we can put in it. It's never been shot before. Game animal mock-up. Well, it's that's spinning me right round, baby, right round. Whew. I think I hit it. There we go. All right. That thing's nice and hot in the sun, nice and black, you know. Got to make them silver. That way they don't get hot in the sun. Let's go ahead and check it out. As, as, as Mooch says, or Scoot, is it Mooch? Scooch, isn't it? Sooch. Sooch, Scooch. Mooch, whoever. That feller. Uh, let's look at our patty tattern. Well, that was the wad. True. Uh, hmm. I either beat it or a little low. I put a dead tight bead on that thing. So that individual gun or choke tube appears to pattern out a little lower than I'd like to see it do. Uh, at this range. Well, let's go over here and see what uh, what damage we did to our uh, feathered friend. Our feathered friend, our feathered friend probably collected enough pellets to put him on the dinner table if he wasn't made out of plastic. Uh, on a turkey, that would have killed him right there. And on a turkey, that would have probably killed him. Uh, you know, so, but I'd like to have seen it with a little bit tighter pattern than that, even with a, a uh, modified choke. Let's go back up here and look at our bird. Somebody suggested that I shoot a turkey decoy. <clears throat> and um, I thought, you know... <laughs> Them things don't grow on trees. <clears throat> and then I was driving down the road and a feller had a bunch of these in his trash. So I don't blame him one little bit. Which is about the size of a small turkey if you took away all the extra feathers. So, in practicality, these two shots would have killed a turkey. Okay? Those two neck shots right there would have killed that turkey stone dead. Uh... So, in practicality, this is not a bad target option, just to tell you the truth. Uh, especially when you're talking about this kind of gun. Uh, there's several body shots made it in there, around in here. You know, so, is it a practical test target? I don't know. Are they fun to shoot? Boy, they sure are. What's the advantage of having a single shot shotgun in this day and age? When there's semi-automatic shotguns, tube-fed semi-automatic shotguns, tube-fed sh pump shotguns, magazine-fed shotguns, double-barrel shotguns, triple-barrel shotguns, automatic shotguns, semi-automatic shotguns, recoil-operated shotguns, gas-operated shotguns, metamorphous-operated shotguns, and kryptonite-operated shotguns. Why do we still see single-shot shotguns on the market? And I'll tell you why because they're not much to pack in the field. They're very simple to operate. If you only need one shot on a passing game animal or a passing bad guy, you know, a single shot shotgun is, is adequate. You know, we've got a wildlife management area here, a WMA in Kentucky that's 12,000 acres over in Western Kentucky. I've walked all over that thing. <laughs> a many a day, following a pack of hound dogs around thinking, Boy, that gun's awful heavy. And now, I hunt I hunt Peabody WMA with a single-shot shotgun. Because it's not that much to pack. Well, well, that's about the size of it for the old uh, Midland Packer 12-gauge shotgun. Uh, it's a pretty reasonable gun for the money. Uh, these guys are in the, like every other single-shot shotgun of any any consequence on the market today, these guys are in the $149, $59, $69 range. Uh, 
unless you're like the big box place up in, well, we ain't, ain't going to mention them by name, but there's one outfit I've seen that sells this gun for like 350 bucks. Uh, <laughs> we don't. Uh, <laughs> I'd love to mention their name, but I just don't want to go to court with them. So anyway, caveat in, 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 just be careful what you buy. God bless everybody. Uh, leave me an old dollar in the Patreon bucket if you want to. Uh, if you don't want to, I'll keep right on making content for you. God bless everybody. Join the NRA, and we'll see you when we see you. Bye now.